to another wonderful episode of More Content Talk. That's the only show that cuts through all the glam, the glitz, and all the bullshit to bring you the truthiest news that we can find. So what did we find this week? Well, let me tell you what we found. We found something that we knew was going to happen long before it happened. Um, so before I tell you what that topic is, I want to take you back to a simpler time. To the good old days, if you will, of uh, 2008. And there was a, a young upstart candidate known as Barack Hussein Obama who, you know, people were talking about maybe being president. And so this issued a whole popularity contest for who could be the most tolerant, right? And you saw all nations around the world pretty much... Um, engaged in this kind of uh, moral cockfight to see who was going to win, who could be the most tolerant nation. And I'll tell you why they did that. It's because that's how you control people. You do it by appearing to be the most benevolent uh, person in the room. It wins over favor with people. And so all these nations who you just wouldn't think there are these uh, forms of rulership some some you can call nations, some maybe not. All of a sudden, overnight, became so tolerant and the coexist movement was born. Uh, I'm not saying that everyone involved in the coexist movement was insincere. I'm sure a lot of people were very insincere. I'm sure a lot of people were sincere too. However, one party that participated in this movement, this coexist movement from the beginning that I said, this is not going to last, is the Catholic Church. And sure enough, you know, almost as if sent from above, <laughs> a message came. And that message said, don't trust these people at the Catholic Church, not the Vatican anyway. There's plenty of good Catholics in the world, but this Vatican is corrupt. And we've seen time and time again where they've shuffled children around from organization to organization to try to hide these, these uh, pedophile priests. And, you know, you, you think you got your hands on them, and then they move the priest to some unknown country, and then they find them there, and then next thing you know, they turn up missing, and there's a whole... Um, bunch of children have been abused in their wake it's happened in ireland it's happened in you know africa it's happened all over the world and um, they've never been held accountable for this yeah sure they paid a little money but never any real jail time never any real um what you would call i suppose justice uh for these people right because these people are good people and so uh, they're not going to get the justice they deserve because they're too good. You can't touch them. They're untouchable. They're moral people. They're good. And so it's been decided. We, we can't do anything to these people. But if we're going to call these people good people, if we're going to call these people righteous, then we should analyze their behavior. Because a lot of people ask me, well, why, why do you focus on it? Why do you care? Because... If you're going to sit around and call yourself good and call yourself righteous, I'm going to hold you accountable to it. If you don't want to be held accountable to that, don't call yourself good. Don't call yourself righteous. Don't make up phony movements like the coexist movement to try to bait people into joining your religion and then turn around and be like, ah, we didn't really mean that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your game. And so I'm going to call you on it. And you're not going to run around here making all kinds of money on people without at least being pointed out for the, the hypocrite that you are. You can't stand up there in a pulpit talking about, oh, okay, we decided gay people can't marry now. After, after you just invited them into the fold. They invited them. They, they told them, oh, we're more tolerant. You don't have to worry about the old days of Catholicism. We're past that. Well, what happened? Right? I mean, seriously. What happened? I thought we were past it. I thought it was going to be different this time. Right? That was the promise. That was the promise that was made. It's that simple. Don't make promises if you can't keep them. So, 
you know, I call out the promise breakers, and the Catholic Church is a promise breaker. I read a very um, heart-wrenching article about this, I believe it was a Filipino um, homosexual man who thought that maybe there would be some chance that... Um, we could move past this. We can move past this silly thing that we do where we say, oh, different, not good, evil, devil, Satan. Isn't it crazy how those words just hold so much power that we can't make any progress? We're stuck. This is how it is. That's righteous. That's uh, that's holding fast. That's that's staying the course i suppose um it's a lot of things it's uh turning your back on people it's um deciding i'm better deciding i know deciding i'm right and uh to hell with anyone who who goes against that right because what about what about all the people who devoted all the time to reforming the church I know there were a lot of times that, uh, you know, I would hear conversations between gay members of churches and maybe secular uh, homosexuals, and, and they would say, you know, what are you wasting your time for? They, they don't like you. There's stuff in there about killing you. I don't understand. And, you know, people would say, well, maybe, maybe they'll change. You don't know. Maybe they'll change, maybe they'll change, maybe they'll change. Um, that makes for great art, you know, it makes for great songs. Um, I'm sure that that would make a great Taylor Swift song, you know. Maybe they'll change, maybe they'll change. Maybe they'll change if we keep on dreaming. It's like I, I've, I've said to people before, sometimes you have to choose sides. Sometimes there's over here and there's over there. <laughs> and and the, the more and more you get into complicating it, the more and more you're going to get disappointed. You, you're going to realize there's some people that uh, don't particularly care for you very much. And, and it's much easier to just start from there and realize that there are people who don't care for you. And the Catholic Church is, is one of those organizations, the Vatican in particular. They don't care. They don't give a shit about gay people. They've made that very clear. It's clear. So what are you still going back there to those people with your hand held out and and asking for forgiveness when, when they're clearly being honest and they're telling you, look, there is no path for you the way you are. You, you must change. That's what they meant when they were talking about changing. They were talking about changing you. Not themselves. They're not going to change. The Catholic Church does not change, okay? I don't care if that offends you. But that's the way it is. My, um... I was born, um, to someone who used to be Catholic. And there's a reason that this person used to be Catholic. It's because of the color of my skin, right? They didn't want to have anything to do with their child anymore, my parent, because they had a child that was not the right skin color. This is old school Catholicism. There's still people around who think like this. And I, for all of this generation's um, talk about um, nuance and bringing reform to organizations, pre-existing organizations that outdate you by thousands of years, some of them, like the Catholic Church, um, and you're talking about you're going to reform them, you're very cocky. You're very egotistical. There's a whole system in organizations to make it appear as if they're changing. But really what they're doing is these are reforms that they had already wanted anyway. And if it's not a reform they had already wanted, they can use it as publicity to make other reforms. That's politics 101. You're not going to find an organization that you could just waltz into and say, you know what, I think that this, this, this should be different, and presto change, oh, there we go. There were kings who bowed before the, the Catholic Church. 
uh, I don't know, I think it was Henry the Second, or it was one of the Henrys. It was he was lashed by the the Catholic Church to ask for that was one of the ways you asked for forgiveness from the Catholic Church. You got lashed, you got whipped like a slave. And you're talking about we're going to change this organization that used to whip the flesh off of people. I don't know what planet you're from, but it's not this one. You're living in an alternate reality, and you're talking to me about reality and what's true. And you look ridiculous. You can't fix these people. These people are, you know, there's monsters here. Flaying your flesh apart in the name of God. Telling you you're not good enough to get married unless you act the way I do in the name of God. Telling you to bow down like a good African in the name of God. That happened too recently. It was not a few days after the incident with the um, them denying that homosexuals are people by denying them the right to marry and have civil unions not a few days after that there was an incident where a um <laughs> and you hear this all the time and it's it's a young black student was uh doing an assignment in class but it wasn't the assignment they were supposed to do they weren't learning the right way you see and and this irritates me i'm sorry what are you talking about the kid's interested in learning let him learn right what's the problem what are, you, what are you bothering this kid because he's doing his homework in class for? Give me a break. You know, give me a fucking break. If you're a teacher and you do that shit, you're a piece of shit. I, I don't care what you say because you discourage learning when you do that. Anyway, they probably didn't know. Who knows? Who knows? Some of these people in these, because this is a Catholic school, some of these people in these schools are not qualified. They don't deserve to be teaching anyway. But they're in there because, you know, we have to allow people the right to ruin children's lives. It's a, it's a, it's a right in America. God damn it, and we're gonna protect it. <laughs> yeah, and they're teaching children that you know all kinds of nutty stuff. But anyway, I go up to him and they send him to the office, right? Because he's doing his homework. And then the, you, know, you get these idiot teachers up there talking about why won't Johnny do his homework? Whatever. I don't listen to it anymore. Anyway, he shouldn't have been in the office in the first place, but he's in the office. And, um, you know, the the headmaster, which already sounds ridiculous. He gets a black kid and this white guy talking about I'm the headmaster. Get out of here, you fucking slave-owning motherfucker. Anyway, he says... The, the kid apologizes, right? He says, I'm sorry, I guess, for doing my homework. He said, you know, you should bow down and do it the Nigerian way. And so he went and he told his mom, this kid, obviously very offended that this supposed moral, <laughs> fair, unbalanced, or whatever. That's a good, good way to call it, fair and unbalanced. <laughs> fair, unbiased, you know, fact based logic ninja mutant turtle uh, priest you know because everyone says that now you, you can't you can't take people who say that seriously anymore because they all think they know everything and that's just a way of saying i know everything i'm the super logic man um so you know uh, the kid goes to his mother and, and tells obviously like this guy was a fucking racist you know <laughs> he's teaching and so she went down there and, and the guy clarified and he said, well, what I meant to say was the African way. Complete, completely, he didn't get it. He didn't get it one bit. You see that? They don't care. They don't care. The Catholic Church does not care about black people, about homosexual people. Because white supremacy is deeply ingrained in the catholic church and it always has been you got to be a certain uh, way to ride the train to heaven all right at least according to their philosophy 
You got to look a certain way. You got to dress a certain way. You got to talk a certain way. You got to worship a certain way. You got to dance a certain way. You got to look a certain way. You got to have sex a certain way. You got to not have too much sex. You got to have enough sex. You, I mean, there's all kinds of rules. You have not even begun to understand Catholicism until you've understood their rules, constant rules, constant demands, and the beatings and the whippings and the, the torture that has resulted from this organization that you think that you're just going to waltz in and reform because you have a degree and facts harumph for you hooray hooray for you you know you did a great job coexist was a complete failure failure huge failure you upset think of how many how many um homosexual people thought you gave false hope to them always remember that don't give false hope to people. Don't do it. Don't be religious. Not in that way. When it comes to people's hopes and dreams, if, if, if a child asks you, mommy, daddy, um, whatever, d do I have a chance of being accepted by the Catholic Church? Tell them no. Not as you are, son, daughter, they you whatever you have no chance of being accepted the way you are by these people you've created that delusion for yourself because you desire to be accepted by them stop desiring to be accepted by them please please be yourself please i'm begging you i don't want to see you suffer anymore don't waste your time on organizations like the catholic church you have one life and if you spend that whole life trying to be accepted by other people, you will consider it a wasted life. And I don't want that for you. That's why I say the things I say. That's why I tell you, stop listening to these people calling for peace and coexistence. It's not going to happen. Not in this lifetime. But maybe you can make your own way, have your own peace, have your own life. I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, this has been more content talk. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Check us out at uh, more content talk, the YouTube page. The new YouTube page is live and ready to go. We have shorts. We have all of our old episodes that didn't get put up on the podcast for whatever reason. And there's new episodes coming. So like and subscribe at uh, more content talk. And also, just listen to us. We're all over the place. We're on Stitcher. We're on, I mean, Spotify. The more you listen to us, the more episodes we get to do. Thanks so much. Um, we hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, as we always say here, more content talk. When life gets you down, laugh at something else. Bye-bye, everyone.